I'll wait for you here. Mercenary, what can I do for you? There's a cave I can't enter. Something inside tries to devour my spirit. You wouldn't have anything I could use for protection, would you? Funny you're asking. Turns out I started working on a potion to help you fight the presence of the demon in your mind. But its effects should also help you against an external intrusion. I need it right away. The safety of the village depends on it. I made two doses. Here, take them. If someone is with you, it can be used to protect them too. Thank you.
Edwin. What can I do? I'm going to have... You offer me... This is the place. Now's the time to find out if this potion is gonna work. This is... Ugh, ugh. This brew is worse than those sold by common charlatans. I wouldn't count on it doing much.
So you're the one who's been spying on the village. Now that I see you, I understand why you'd rather not show up in person. I don't hear your voice in my head anymore. You must have figured that out. If you've got a message to deliver, you're gonna have to do it the old-fashioned way. Forget it. I came down here to do two things. Look for mushrooms and kick somebody's ass. And guess what? I ain't found any mushrooms. Well, your ice lords have never messed with a powder master, now have they? If you listen to the rabble who actually live in the swamps, we should head back to the village now. If he was right, and a general is directing the attack, only your power could stop them. for this. I should head to the village. I know this place. The village is not far away to the right.
Vulcan, where were you? We were up to our necks in it. They're everywhere. We're holding this gate, but I think the others have been overrun. Do you know where the captain is? He headed for the center of the village. Sounded like it wasn't going well over there. You should go and help him. is on the move again, and he's not wasting any time. The puppet he confronts. It is not like the others. It's more likely to be the puppet master. He looks like a dead walker general. He's probably leading the assault on Valvenor. All of this power he animates with, it belongs to me. It was stolen and twisted by your miserable magicians. It is time to take back what is mine by right. If you're planning to take care of him like all the others, sounds good to me. Prince Arundel won't last long facing that kind of monster. He is using more power than thou wilt allow me to deploy. I can take care of myself, and here's my plan. I'm gonna come at him with everything I've got. Killing their general is gonna screw up our enemies big time. Let's go do it.
That was one tough death's head, but it won't command anyone now. Without their general, the dead walkers should leave us alone for a while. But they'll reorganize, so we can't stay here. You're right, mercenary. Let's use the time to leave. It's now or never if we're going to get to Karabthas. My father and the armies of the Free Nations should be there. If we hurry, we may be able to participate in the mother of all battles and finally push back the Ice Lords. If thou dost throw thyself into this battle, the only thing that thou wouldst find is thy death, and the only chance thou hast for saving this world will disappear with thee. Their armies will not win. He knows this, but that is not what motivates him. He is seeking his father's approval. He wants to buy the crown by delivering us to his king. He believes we are at his command. But he is mistaken. I only serve and live for the world heart. Thy elven city is closer. I can feel it. Forget these suicidal battles. If thou join with them, thy so-called friends will end up turning against thee out of fear or envy. Edwin seems to be fascinated by you, and I'm the only one who has supported her. She has no reason to oppose me. The Alliance of Pariahs. Do not say that thou dost really believe that, especially about that sorceress. She will do anything for a bit of power, and thou wouldst cling to her yet. Thou hast no more choice. Thou must hasten to the world heart and purify it. It is thine only chance. Do combat there, and if thou art not slain, at least one of thy companions, if not all of them, will betray thee to try to control or study the power I bring thee. Vulcan? Vulcan? You were far away. Is it the demon? He was talking to you, wasn't he? Yes, it happens sometimes. You have to make a decision soon. Will you join us in the battle at Karalthas? I don't know yet. I understand. It's been a long day. I'll let you think it over for a while. Let me know when you've made a decision. me to go with him to Karalthas. What do you think? You should go with him. Karalthas is our only hope for now, and the prince seems like a good man. We would be safer there. Both the human and elven armies are gathered there, and I believe you may find some answers there also. The elven sages are some of the wisest people on Vertiol. If anyone can figure out what has happened to you, they can. It's pretty obvious what happened to me. A demon has somehow gotten into my head, and now I gotta live with it. And this does not worry you? Yeah, it's starting to scare me. I can imagine. These new powers come at a price. And I fear that you, Vulcan, your very self, may be the price that has to be paid. You must go to Karalthas so they can examine you. I believe you must find a way to control this thing or even rid yourself of it before it's too late. Do you think we should listen to Prince Arundel and go with him to Karlthas? The great elven army and what is left of the human army in this part of Vertiel are now gathering at Karlthas. Separately, none of these troops stood a chance. 
but united. Well, in any case, it's the only hope we have left. Reinforcements from the Freeborn Blades and Red Scribes will help, and so will you from what I've seen. And even if I don't approve of all the strategic choices made by my Sovereign these last few years, I think he'll rise to the occasion now that he can no longer retreat. He knows the lands around Carol Thass perfectly, so I'm sure he will bring the battle onto terrain that will favor us. And since you're curious to know more about what happened to you, my people's scholars are famous. They can surely help you. You've got it all figured out. I believe we can manage to hold the Deadwalker army back this time. Though it's a bit early to start celebrating. Do you think we ought to follow the Prince to Carathas? If you want to get to the World Heart, we'll need to go by there. But the Prince's company seems both unnecessary and dangerous. Believe me, I know his type all too well. Invested with a mission, he is soon overwhelmed by... probably named by some obscure prophecy. In the name of his family, or because of an idealized vision of his future duties as sovereign, he will give his all. In other words, all his imbecility. Chasing after glory and honor, unprepared and unprotected, he will only lead us to disaster. Seeing the shit we're in, I don't think he's doing it just for the glory. He's got an interest in having everybody survive. And in making it look like everyone has survived entirely due to his talents, and not those of a mercenary who can produce flames and defeat a general of the Deadwalkers. Do you really believe he wants you around just because he enjoys your company? Not to mention the increasing threat implied by our friends dressed all in red. What do you suggest we do? When we get to Carol Thass, we better give them the slip and head to Blackfrost's domain. Why should we go down there? Because those lands are positioned quite close to the City of the Elves, and like all the lands of the Ice Lords, it's a point of entry into the World Heart. Prince Arundel is asking us to join up with his forces in Carolthas to fight the Dead Walker army. What do you think? For years now, the Knight has fought in many battles and with many different armies. The generals, the kings, and the chiefs of those armies were usually ready to sacrifice the lives of their men with no remorse in order to win. If the mercenary goes to Carol Thass, this prince will use him for his own purposes and sacrifice him if needs be. He cares for nothing beyond his own safety. And if he is faced with the Ice Lords, he would turn and flee, as did his brothers before him. The knight is weary of these doubts and petty thoughts. He wishes to return to the attack and strike the Ice Lords at their very hearts. If he was in the mercenary's place, he would listen to the demon and follow its plan. And he would like to know that he would not stand alone in this final battle. There you are, at last. So, have you made your decision? I will fight with you at Carothas. Your army may be our only chance of victory. Idiot! Thou hast sentenced thyself to death! We will go with the others to Carolthas to swell our ranks, combine our forces, and face the Deadwalker army on equal terms. Equal terms? Because thou hast slain a vassal far from his master, do not presume too much upon this body. 
Now draw close to the domain of one of these necromancers. Faced with his power, a thousand soldiers more or less will make no difference. The power to slay this vermin lies within us. But it cannot be used from such a weak vessel, nor can it even be protected from those who covet it. I am more and more powerful. Yes, yet still not powerful enough. And this city is of no interest. The necromancer will lay waste to it with a weave of his hand. While he tarries, thou must make haste to reach his palace. You said that I lacked the power. I will not throw myself into the wolf's jaws. When thou returnest to the world heart, none will stand before us. Thou wouldst already possess the power to destroy this sorcerer and his like, if thou hadst but allowed the evolution of this useless body. Look upon thyself. Thou art duped. Vulcan, have you seen something? They use thee.